They love their horses, you know, oh, those farm workers. Absolutely love them. Up until just after World War II, horses did most of the heavy work on farms. A day's ploughing used to achieve one acre of land turned over. The man would walk around 11 miles doing this. The main breed of horse on the walls was a cross between the Shire Horse and the Clydesdale. After World War II, tractors replaced most of the horses used on farms. The tractors and ploughs became bigger and bigger until today's tractors have the power of 100 to 200 horses and can plough an acre in a matter of minutes. Sowing corn using a seed drill. Today's seed drills use the latest satellite technology to place seeds precisely and accurately. Crops must be protected from disease by giving them a medicine if they get infected. This is done by spraying them with agrochemicals which kill the pests and diseases. Before we knew what we know now about these chemicals, this was not done very sensibly. Even using helicopters and aeroplanes to apply them. Things are very different today, the chemicals are much safer and farmers must meet lots of safety regulations to protect themselves, consumers and the environment. Harvesting corn crops such as wheat, oats and barley used to be a two-stage process. First the crop was cut with binders left in the field to dry before being led to the farm and stacked in a heap or rick then the crop was taken out of the rick and put through a threshing machine This separated the grain from the straw. The grain was put into bags. Some of these bags could weigh up to 16 stone or more. That's 100 kilograms in new money. The combine harvester does both these processes at once in the field. Cutting the crop, taking it into the machine where the grain is threshed. And separated from the straw before being placed in bags on the machine. It still however took many workers many weeks to complete the harvest.
Today, two people can harvest in a day what used to take many men weeks to do. This film shows land army girls helping to plant and gather potatoes just after the Second World War. Planting potatoes, even with the early mechanical planters, used to be back-breaking, dusty, hard work. Today's potato planters are fully automated, so only need one person to drive the tractor. No awful jobs riding on the planter. Harvesting was even harder when done by hand, it took many potato pickers many weeks to harvest the crop. School holidays were even time to allow whole families out of the towns to help with the harvest. The potatoes were stored by making a heap and covering it with straw and soil, called a potato pie. The first mechanical harvesters were much better, but still needed several people. Today's harvest machines are much better, and they only need a couple of people on the machine. This is to pick off any bad potatoes. Potatoes are now stored in environmentally controlled, purpose-built stores. Watch more videos of food, farming and the countryside at discoveringourcountryside.co.uk and start reconnecting with your countryside.